Hi, I'm Valerie Friedlander, certified life coach and founder of The Unlimited Mom. And this video, we are talking about the second thing that you need in order to create effective, sustainable change in your life, moving you towards what you want, creating that dream life and business that you want to have. So the first video I did, we talked about the three mistakes that people make when they're trying to create change in their life to do something different. And the second video was all about the number one foundational piece that you need to create effective, sustainable change, which is a vision. You need to know who you want to be and the way your business wants to be in the world. So if you didn't watch that video, make sure you go back and watch that because that is a like the number one key thing that people end up missing. They think they have it, but they don't. So make sure you go back and watch that video. This video, we're talking about creating a plan, having a strategy, this creating those stepping stones to move you forward. Now, where a lot of people fall off, you, you hear there are all kinds of statistics around like resolutions, like 95% of people don't actually follow through on their new year's resolutions. Well, why is that? Why don't people actually follow through with change? Well, change is uncomfortable. <laughs> it just is. It's doing something different. You're stepping into an unknown space. And this is why like so many people will look for the tried and true strategies. Well, I want to be successful. So I'm going to look for the tried and true strategies. Almost every time, like I've had people come and join my mindset makeover program and they started out like, I'm going to invest in my business and that's where I need to focus. I will find that tried and true strategy. I will make some money and then I will be able to invest in myself because I know I need to do the self work too. Well, they invest in the business stuff, but then they don't follow through on it. They don't take action and they wonder, I know this will help me. Why am I not doing it? Or they take action and they're like, oh, this is so hard. Hard and not hard in like a I'm working hard kind of way, but in a this doesn't feel aligned kind of way. I have one lady I'm working with now who was talking about she loves what she's doing, yet something about the way she's engaging, like the impact that she's looking to have in the world, it doesn't, there's a disconnect, there's a dissonance that's occurring because of the way you have to do business in her industry to make money and the way she wants to engage with the world and the impact that she wants to have in the world. So it's really important to create an alignment between what you're doing, both with what you love to do, as well as the impact that you want to make. To do that, you have to really have that solid vision foundation, and then you get to experiment. The reason tried and true strategies don't necessarily work is because they're not you. Your tried and true strategies do involve stepping into the unknown space to create something different, create something that fits you. The reason people don't do that is partly because of the, the fear of the unknown. It's partly because of the way our brains work. If you've done several things where you weren't aligned and you've created this bucket around, well, I, I don't, I'm not successful. You start to expect that and you start to look for it. And when you expect or think that you know what the outcome is going to be, you know, waiting for the other shoe to drop or thinking, well, it might not be successful or being afraid of what the outcome will be, you're naturally not going to play all out. You're not going to create, even create the plan of action. So the important thing to know, and this is, this is where we run into issues is the goal isn't the six figure business. The goal is the way you'll feel. It's the experience of life. That vision that you created when we and from that first video, that's the actual goal. The plan, the the actions that you'll take, the six figure business is the strategy to achieve the goal. Now the question is, is that strategy aligned? I was working with another woman who was her goal. She'd been thinking six figure business because that will mean that I'm successful. That will say to the world that I am, this isn't just a hobby. I am successful. 
well, what about that is important? She realized a lot of people, money isn't the main motivator. It's not the thing that's actually important. Most of the people who come find me are looking for the impact, looking to make a difference in the world. So when you have that misalignment and you're focused on this external thing in the future, like this outcome, your value starts to get placed on that outcome and whether you can make that six figure business to be valid. Your value is intrinsic. Your value stems from everything that you've learned up to this point, the natural gifts that you have, and the journey that you're on, the fact that you're taking action and that you're learning and that you're growing, even if you feel like you've been spinning. Your value is you. So if you knew that your value was you, and it doesn't matter what the outcome of the experiment, the strategy, the step that you take, what matters is that you took the step and that you learn from it. That's what matters. Then that opens up the possibilities of taking those steps and learning. If you don't have a plan, if you're just kind of winging it and just kind of running forward, you can't assess how things are working because if something works, then you can't reproduce it because you didn't actually create that plan to achieve it. If it doesn't work, you don't know what to do differently because you weren't in charge of it. So it's, it's really easy with the fear of the unknown to not take action and to not create the plan. But that's one of the places where you stop. So it's all about those stepping stones, taking, creating that plan and trying something. I love to say, you know, put on your science goggles and do an experiment well, this is what I want. This is who I want to be. And if I combine who I want to be with this action, what happens? And find out. See what happens. See if not just the outcome is aligned, but is the action itself aligned? Because sometimes creation process takes a while. So you want to make sure that the steps that you're taking fit with who you want to be as well as moving you forward towards where you want to go. And you also may find that as you take steps in an aligned way that where you want to go shifts and you're more open to new things coming in, to, to way opening, to something happening and going, oh, that's where I'm meant to be. But that requires being open and looking and being present to the things that you're doing, not getting caught up in what's going to happen out here and down here. It also allows you to have the, one of the key components, especially as a mom, is flexibility and being able to look at what's pulling at your attention and the, what your values are and who you want to be and create a plan that incorporates that flexibility so that you are always moving forward while also factoring in the waves that may pull you off course a little bit and being able to check in so that you're making conscious choices instead of just those reactive choices. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how do you get out of the reactive and into the active, and it all comes back to this lovely little thing between your ears. So join me on the next video.